Well, I think the title of this uh, video about sums it all up. I broke my favorite lens, the Canon 24-270 f2.8 lens. Uh, it also has the image stabilization, which is really important for video work that I do all the time. I've been using this lens nonstop for probably about eight months or a year that I've owned it and I bought it brand new. Fortunately, when I was on an outdoor shoot, the camera and the lens was attached to a tripod. We've had some crazy wind out here in Texas recently, and uh, the tripod just so happened to blow over when I was turned away and on my phone, the tripod fell directly on a rock, because of course it did, and the lens just came snapping off of the camera body. So I was using the Canon EOS R, uh, with the, of course, 24-70 f2.8 lens attached to it. And basically, uh, when it fell, it fell here on the side and all the pressure was here on the lens. So it just snapped clean off. Um, basically, this is the only parts that I was able to recover here. It's this little, uh, looks like a little logic board that actually is shattered off and you know some connectors and i think a little rubber seal here probably for the um actually i'm not sure what that i think it's for waterproofing there um but you can see that the uh the mount is still attached here to the uh camera body i haven't removed it yet uh the camera still seems to be functional the eos r thankfully uh it doesn't seem like that's broken um I, I left it on here uh for this video so you guys could kind of get a good idea of you know what a broken lens looks like and here we can see all these little ribbon connectors and uh, screws and parts just came completely off. We can see here that the little screws they used, I believe, snapped off. I think they actually broke off and they are embedded into the inside of this camera uh, lens here. Um, the weakest part on these lenses is by far where it attaches to the actual camera itself. As far as the you know actual lens goes itself, everything looks perfectly fine here. Everything looks uh, fine and, uh, and everything seems to be functioning pretty well as far as that goes. Uh, so I think we might be able to save this lens if I send it out to Canon. Honestly, I've been in photography for years and years and years now, and I've never broken a lens ever, not even one of my cheap lenses. So I've been fortunate enough uh, as of, you know, before today uh, to not break a lens. So actually, I'm not entirely sure what I should do with this. Um, do you guys know if I can send this out to Canon to have them fix it? I'm sure they're gonna charge me a pretty hefty fee. Uh, but probably the worst thing about this is the fact that I actually can't get one of these lenses in stock. Because of all these coronavirus shortages, it's going to take about two to six weeks to get another one in. And of course, that would require me uh, forking over another $2,300 to get the new lens. Um, I'm sure I could sell this and have it fixed as well. So um, that's obviously a lot of money. And um, when, when I probably could fix this for about $1,000 from Canon, I'm, I'm not sure. I tried to do a, a little bit of research, but, but it'd be really awesome if you guys could leave me some suggestions in the comment section down below as what to do with this as far as repairing it and about how much it would cost. Uh, that'd be really helpful for me right now because I'm kind of weighing the cost of being down this lens because unfortunately, no matter what, I'm going to be down this lens for a month. Like I said, they're back ordered about six weeks right now. And again, I think repairing it is probably gonna take about six weeks as well, but I have no idea. Uh, again, if you guys could let me know your personal experiences with uh, repairing lenses from Canon, how, how long the lead times were, how long it took to fix, that would be really great. I would definitely appreciate that. I know I haven't made a lot of videos here on this channel because I've been doing a lot of uh, videos on my other channels like my Shade Review YouTube channel. And there hasn't been a ton of really cool or new cameras uh, that have been released over the past year. Again, probably because of the uh, COVID pandemic. But as soon as more cameras start to come out, I'm going to definitely be sure to uh, keep making new videos on them. But right now, um, it's just... It just, it's just annoying, it sucks. You know, it's something that you know that's probably gonna happen to you eventually. We always kind of hope it's gonna happen to one of your cheaper lenses, not a 2000 plus dollar lens. Um, actually, I have something to show you here right now. The tripod head actually broke as well, which I was actually really shocked at. The tripod that I was using was a nice uh, Manfrotto tripod, and I was just using one of their cheaper heads here. The head I'm using was the MH494BH. And here you can see it just snapped clean off the little tab that holds it in for security uh, purposes. 
uh, actually snapped clean off. So here we can see the broken one and I actually have a, uh, a functioning one right here. And you can see that this is not supposed to come off, but it actually uh, is just, it's just plastic, it's not metal. And the plastic piece just snapped right off. Oddly enough, the top piece right here actually is metal. So this is metal, but the piece that snapped off is just a cheap plastic. So that was the failure point there on the head. I think this is about maybe a 60 or $70 um, head. So obviously that's broken, so I'm out the $60 there as well. Uh, but overall, it's just a really sucky situation to be in to break uh, one of your lenses. But I figured I'd make a quick video here to kind of show you guys uh, the breaking point of one of these lenses. And again, it's almost always here uh, on the mount where the lens will break off. Um, but yeah, um, I guess uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.